one of the skills that I'll often teach my psychotherapy clients when they're doing body-oriented therapy with me would be the basic body scan with some access breathing. And so I'll guide you through this process. This can be a refresher for my current clients or for people that are just learning how to do uh, body-oriented therapy to get re-embodied, whether they're working with pain control, mood issues, anxiety issues, uh, or a, a whole host of other problems. So let's go ahead and start with simple access breathing. I'm going to ask you to do uh, a quick breath in. I'm going to have you hold it until you feel a little pressure in your chest and then a slow breath out. Do that with me right now. Breathe in and hold it for a while. And breathe out nice and slow. As the breath goes out of your body, notice what's tight in your body. Direct your attention into it. And whatever you're comfortable letting go or needs to shift, let it go or let it shift. Paying attention to your body's cues listening to what your body tells you. Quick breath in. Hold it for a while, a few seconds. Slow breath out. Now go ahead and keep doing that at your own speed. Breathe in quick, hold it for as long as you'd like to hold it, and then breathe out nice and slow. In general, the quick breath in and the slow breath out gives you access to a lot of the perceptual information in your body. Being able to notice small areas of tension, notice areas where you can get a little more movement or a little more space. Uh, that's a really useful way to start when you're about to do a body scan or when you're about to do some of the other techniques that require access to perception and feeling in the body. Uh, whether you're doing trauma work, anxiety work, uh, some very personal, difficult, and intimate things, whatever it is you're working through, uh, starting with access to the body, neurodynamic flow in the body, uh, that's one of the best ways to start. If you start to get panic reactions while you're starting to do the access breathing, uh, be kind to yourself. Slow it down. Uh, only stay with the feelings that you're ready to tolerate. This isn't a substitute for therapy. When you have a therapist attuning to you, to your movements, to your feelings, go ahead and keep breathing while I'm telling you about this. Uh, uh, they can, they can help, no, help you notice the cues of building up difficulty, stress, panic. Uh, if it looks like you're starting to go into sort of a vortex of uh, traumatic flashbacks or something like that. So, after you've done several of these breaths, let's go ahead and start the body scan. Go ahead and start by bringing your awareness into your feet. Just noticing the actual felt sense of your feet. A lot of times we think about our bodies without actually feeling them. So pay attention to your feet, the sensations or lack of sensation if you're dealing with some numbness or neuropathy. Just bring your awareness into that, and if there's some pain, just instead of running from the pain, just be curious about it. Do your best to non-judgmentally wonder exactly where it is and where it isn't. Notice that. Now stretch your awareness from your feet up into your ankles and lower legs, all the way up to the knees. Feel the feet, feel the calves, the lower leg area, and just meander through the sensations in that part of your body, just feeling that, noticing it, being curious about it, noticing the temperature. Then stretch your awareness from the feet and lower legs up into the knees and into the upper legs. Feeling the sensations, the weight or lightness, the temperature, the warmth or coolness of those parts, the feelings in your body all the way up to your upper legs. Keep on breathing and stretch your awareness into the pelvic region, the lower stomach, lower back area, feeling the feet, the lower legs, the upper legs, the pelvis and lower back, lower stomach area. Just feeling the sensations of that lower part of you. Feeling the neurological sensation of where your boundaries are in your body. And then stretch your awareness from that lower part of the body up into the stomach, the chest, and into the upper back area. 
all the way into the stomach, the chest, the upper back, the spine area, the paraspinals. Just breathe and feel the sensations in your body from the bottoms of your feet all the way up into the chest and the upper back area. Continue to breathe and stretch your awareness up into your shoulders, all the way up into the shoulders. Feeling the shoulders, the real felt sense of the shoulders, the tug of gravity on the shoulders, the feeling of where the shoulders are in relation to the other things around you. Just feeling the sensations in your shoulders. And stretch the awareness in to the arms, all the way down into your arms, feeling your arms, the feeling of your arms, all the way down to your elbows and down to your hands, noticing the weight, the temperature, just feeling the sensation of your arms. And again, if you've been dealing with any pain, tension, stress in the body, emotional stress that shows up in the body, just pay attention to it. Give it the attention that it craves. Instead of running from it, instead of hating it, instead of judging it, notice it. Be curious about exactly where it is, where it isn't, and whether it's starting to move or whether it's sitting there. Just breathe and feel the sensations in the body all the way from the bottoms of your feet up through the body and torso, all the way down into the arms and the hands. Just noticing the sensation, the real felt sense of your body. And stretch that awareness from the hands, the arms, the shoulders, up into the neck, feeling the sensations in your neck, feeling the sensations all the way up to the chin, the whole body, all the sensations that you can notice in the body, all the way up to your chin, and then stretch that awareness up into your mouth and jaw, up into your face, up into the top of your head, onto the ears, the back of your head, feeling the whole sensation in the head, all the way out to the ears, all the way up to your scalp, just noticing the sensations. If part of you starts to, to itch or to feel a little extra sensation, be curious about it, as long as you can tolerate it before you, before you scratch that itch. Yeah, if you have some, some pain or things that are giving you cues, to change your position, go ahead and change your position. Follow your body's cues. A lot of times, as you start to become aware of your body and direct your attention inward, activating the proprioceptive system, those, those felt sense uh, neurological structures where you really feel what's going on in there, your kinesthetic system as you, as you direct your attention inside your body, a lot of times you start to notice uh, micro shifts, small little changes and movements you can make, movements within movements that make a difference in how you feel. And so being able to access the felt sense, a lot of times when there's pain, can help you find little bits of relief that move you toward bigger feelings of relief. So breathe, feel the body. If it's hard to feel the whole body at once and your, your mind sort of jumps around from part to part, go ahead and let it for a minute, but just try your best to just feel the whole body. Feel the whole body at the same time. There's a rebalancing effect that happens when you start to do that, or when you attempt to do that while feeling as much of the body as you can at a time. The body starts to rebalance. A lot of times people will notice a temperature shift, or uh, sometimes some, some happy chills, or, or neurological tingling or sensations in the body. Uh, this is uh, a connective feeling. This is a feeling that can help you get access to some of your natural relief. And a lot of times as people start to feel the real felt sense of their body, that can be a jumping off point for a lot of uh, different sorts of work. Uh, whether, whether you're going to go into uh, somatic experiencing type work where, where you use interoception and things like pendulation or developing resource states in the body to feel a lot better. You can look at some of my other videos for those things. Uh, this is a good jumping off point for that. Some people like to use it in connection with uh, meditative work. I'll often do that with mindful meditation with people. Uh, some people will use it also for a jumping off point into hypnotic work. Uh, I, don't, I don't typically use hypnosis with clients. I, I tend to use a lot more somatic type work with them. 
a lot of times also you can enjoy a lot of the real powerful effects of guided imagery when you've accessed your proprioceptive and kinesthetic systems with a body scan. So I'll end this uh, training segment for now. Feel free to try this in various settings where it'll work for you. The, the more often you do it, the more uh, the structures involved with getting relief in your body will uh, develop your medial prefrontal cortex. Uh, the the AMCC from time to time, things that will help you to feel strength, determination, peace, a lot of things that are really part of your natural state. So thanks for watching. I hope that you found this helpful.